we do have people feeling like they're being touched or poked in the back. Can you tell me how many? <gasps> Whoa! Somebody just touched me. The little girls that were visiting him died, they drowned. Whether he actually killed them or not is up for debate. Can you tell us where to go? Oh, an image. Oh. We need to keep our eyes peeled because Shirley figures full bodied apparition is super common in this prison. What was that? I feel like someone's walking towards me. His neck. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, no. oh, my brain punch has been off. Why is my cell here? Ah! The Gila County Jail. Wow. Crip Keepers with a hop, hey. skip and a jump that took about 48 hours of travel. Jared and I are back in the United States. We're here, we're back. Did you miss us? Tonight we're kicking things off with our first investigation, a very haunted prison. And I'm very stoked about this. I don't know if you're going to be. Why? Why haven't you told me? <laughs> you do this every time. Not only for this location, but the things that we have coming up are just going to get crazy as I knew this trip was going to be mad because I walked in on Amy in the bathroom chopping off her own hair. <laughs> right before we came, I was like, f*** it, let's just go big. But this place behind us, the ghost stories, the shadow figures, full-bodied apparitions, the grabbing, the physical touch, I think tonight's going to be a good one. Grabbing what? <laughs> Hopefully you. <laughs> This neat little jail is of great historical importance to the local area of Globe, Arizona, being directly connected to the courthouse next door. But it is also a place that continues to harbour dark memories for this small community. We're in the 1910 Gila County Jail. It used to be part of the courthouse and jail and they ran out of capacity and needed something that was better and more secure and to help people to get to due process. So this facility was built state of the art. So it's quite a unique place and it served until 1981, which is a little scary. <laughs> We definitely have had a lot of suicides, sadly murders. We are on a site that was Apache territory, of course, and, and this was county, so it was harder than already being sentenced. People that were here weren't sentenced, they were waiting for trial. So you had your innocent juveniles uh, mixed with your hardened criminals for repeat offenses, and, and it wasn't always a happy place to be. You wanted to be safer once you were sentenced, then you were separated with people that were either light sentences or heavy sentences, but in here everybody was mixed together, so it was pretty rough during the time. Despite its closure, the Gila County Jail continues to draw many to the area, specifically those who seek the paranormal. For us, we were particularly interested in the story of Kingsley Olds, who is said to have drowned two young girls named Lulu and Myrtle Goswick in a nearby river, after which he shot himself in the chin with his own gun. While nobody knows exactly what happened, many speculate that Kingsley was guilty and tried to shoot himself to cover up what occurred, making it seem as though the group was attacked. Others claim it was a suicide attempt stemming from guilt. Either way, Kingsley was held at the Gila County Jail while he awaited his trial next door. That trial would never come, as an unidentified man entered the courthouse and shot Kingsley dead through a window from the neighbouring building. It's often speculated that the shooter was the father of the young girls who were drowned, but in truth, no one really knows. One thing that is documented, however, are the records of a nurse who was caring for Kingsley, who had claimed to be visited by the two little girls who had drowned while in his prison cell, with their visit seemingly to beckon him to follow them into death. And even to this day, there are some who say those little girls never left the jail. Part of the newspaper articles that we've been able to find talked about, there's a whole series of testimony from the coroner's inquest that the nurse had said, and it made it to the newspapers about him talking about the ghosts of the girls were there waiting, beckoning him to hurry up, like hurry up and die and come with us, we're waiting for you. And that's about the readings that they get in the jail. But there are other entities that we found over time, you know, people feel like they've talked with Kingsley as he trapped there. This all happened early 1911-ish. You know, we were, again, we're open to 1981, so there was a lot of things that happened in that cell in between that time. But there's very negative energy in there as well. So is it something else liking the limelight? Because people do spend a lot of time in that cell. We're still not sure, but it's, it's a very active cell. There's no shortage of paranormal stories related to the Gila County Jail. Many to enter have reported encounters with spirits ranging from innocent enough moments to truly terrifying physical attacks. You know, we have it all. 
right down to audibles. Um, we do um, have people feeling like they're being touched or poked in the back. Now we have had some scratchings and they feel like people are with them. They feel their presence. Um, they feel like, you know, when somebody's this close to you and you need them to give you a little bit of space. We have our matron and several other figures that, that like to introduce themselves. They're the strongest, like they're, they're the ones that rule the roost, I guess. For me, I was truly excited to investigate the haunted jail, especially after seeing a very compelling capture onto video by a film creator named James Sweet. During a shoot of the jail, James captured a shadow man within one of the jail cells right next to a member of staff, which can clearly be seen here and is especially chilling as there is only one living person within that cell. So are you ready to investigate this haunted jail with us? Hit like, subscribe, and let's jump into things. We're now starting our ghost tube walkthrough and we're gonna begin at the bottom of the jail and work our way up through each level. Oh my dear Lord. Wow, this is very cramped. This is a lot smaller in here than I realized. Yeah, this cell block is like super skinny. I actually think it makes it feel creepier though because it's yeah. almost claustrophobic. Yeah, is anyone claustrophobic? Let us know in the comments. Is there anyone here tonight? Can you make your presence known? My name's Amy, this is Jared. And apparently they only had one bathroom per floor. Imagine sharing that with like 20 other people or more. Brutal. <gasps> what was that? I don't know. That was really loud. Like, was that like a, oh my God, there's a man in here. It sounds like, like a door or something. Yeah. Up. Up. It sounded like it came from up. It, yeah, it definitely sounded like it came from there. The acoustics in here are weird, but that's the only way in, so. I, <laughs> okay. That's the first fright of the night. Right. I, you know what? We have to chase that. Come on, Jared. If there's anyone down here, we're going up because we feel like that's where you are. <laughs> this was one of the craziest beginnings to an investigation we had ever experienced. After hearing this loud clang, which seemed to come from upstairs, and then receiving the response of up through ghost tube, as if to confirm what we had just heard, we decided to follow the sound. But what's more, we had already rigged up a still camera on the second level to monitor this space, as we'd been told it was especially active. <laughs> Is there someone up here? You know what's cool though? We did leave a still camera up here. So if that noise came from up here, we would have caught it. We're also running ghost tube seer up here. So who knows what that might've been showing. Yeah, I forgot that we left that up here. Little did we know that ghost tube seer had already generated a response. This tool uses environmental readings to generate descriptive and unique imagery by utilizing the power of artificial intelligence. Here, it displayed a young looking male who appears sad and possibly even bruised. Of course, this could be relevant to the jail, having held and mixed juveniles with hardened criminals. Could this perhaps be a spirit showing themselves to us? Or possibly the reason someone was imprisoned? Or could this mean something else entirely? Let us know what you think. Is it like this? Could have been that. These doors are so heavy though, so I've heard so many stories about, they call these tanks, so like tank two, and it seems like the touchy-feely, grabby area where a lot of activity happens. Men were kept here in these cells. Anyone up here? Can you make another noise? Hey guys. Just so you know, we've got Ghost of Sea running right here. So we don't know what's... Pretty. Who are you talking to? This is where they get grabbed. Actually, that cell. Are you talking to me or her? Man. <gasps> oh my God! <laughs> it's talking to you! You're talking to me, you think I'm pretty? Um, um, they do say mostly pretty girls, but sometimes teenagers get poked, right? Maybe, are you gotta go in? I'm neither of those things. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shall I go in here then? That's the bum grab cell. Okay, I'm going in. 
We are currently in, in a cell that is known we have a, we do have a butt grabber. No, we'll notice even during the daytime, again, you know, they're just here on a informational history tour and there's always one in the crowd that is looking around to see maybe what happened or they got brushed or what have you but and the teenagers tend to get poked and grabbed a little bit too but for the most part it's it's it likes its ladies and it's usually always in this cell <laughs> if my bum gets grabbed would that be a first frame script yeah okay how does it feel in there very tight oh i've just got goosebumps too yeah it's very tight and cold in here and uh there's like really like bad graffiti on the wall, wish to kill. Yeah. They call me the devil. Is it right? Jared is in there. What do you think of that man? Am I okay being in here? Thank you. If you just made a little tap, can we have another one? Maybe something louder? Let me show you something. Let me show you something. You guys ready? You guys ready? We come in peace. <laughs> oh, an image. Oh, that looks like where we're standing. Looks like a corridor. Oh my God. Can you tell us where to go? When I analyze this image closer, it does look like a long corridor, similar to where we were standing. Yet what is particularly creepy about this is that there does appear to be a partial person in one of the rooms off to the side, where you can see what almost looks like someone's arm bent as though they're sitting in that room. So perhaps there was someone in that cell Jared had just entered. At least it certainly seems that way from looking at this image as it even appeared on the same side of the corridor. Oh my god, that is really creepy down there. Let's go for a stroll. So we're actually behind the cells right now. And we need to keep our eyes peeled because shadow figures, full bodied apparitions, super common in this prison. I'm guessing the upstairs toilets aren't in working order right now. It's like I don't want to turn a corner because it feels like there's going to be something there. All right, let's leave that static camera rolling and we'll explore up. Now, I'm top, we were told earlier by our guide, people are said to get pushed down these stairs or while they're going up the stairs. Handrails. Are you waiting for me to go up first to see if I get pushed down? This perhaps actually is one of the coolest, most interesting parts of the jail here. <laughs> Scared of heights, Jared? Oh, actually, no, I'm not that bad with heights. <laughs> Good, because this is a long drop down. We're currently standing on the bridge of size. Well, that building behind you, that's actually the courthouse. And this is the bridge that connects the courthouse to the jail. So you can imagine it as a very emotional place. When you go across, it was extreme feeling of despair um, or relief you know it could translate both ways and the bridge is connected between the jail and the courthouse so that's where they would lead the prisoners over to sentencing or back and forth to court but um, there's a lot of energy on there we know we've had some suicides some jumpers we've been told there's been hangings it's got a lot of emotion attached with the stairways leading up but especially that catwalk and the energy in between the two buildings we have had photographs of like people are standing there usually lighter wider you know there are definitely figures but um, people drive by all the time and it's kind of a town thing to look up you never know what you're gonna see hanging out up there but we've had several events where they'll be lined up and they're kind of like leaning like they're watching the event going on so it's it's fun for us to peekaboo at and now we're heading up to where women were kept Here we have more cells. And actually this is an area that's supposedly haunted by a matron. Ooh, you know what's cool? I know we filmed these a long time apart, but I know the last video you guys would have seen would have been at J Ward and there was a story of a matron there. Kind of excites me. <laughs> Pain. Pain. Oh. You know what, this wouldn't have been a pleasant place. This would have been a horrible place to be kept or 
spend time in like pain. Is there anything we can do for you? Top me to get a matron. This is double-sided as well, so we have even more cells in here for the women. But we have saved the best to last, one of the most interesting cases from this jail. This is it, Jared, the most infamous cell here. The cell of Mr. Kingsley. Oh, and the depiction of the little girl here. Follow me. <gasps> Follow who? The little girl? I know there's two little girls. I'm still a little shaken up by all that we captured here. First we receive the response of follow me, right as we speak of the little girls that tie into Kingsley Old's ghost story. But what we did not know at this time is that we were also receiving another image through Ghost Tube Seer on the next floor down. This depicted a little girl who appears to be in a prison, almost dancing or gesturing towards something or perhaps someone. Could she be communicating to us and trying to direct us somewhere? Or could this have been meant for Kingsley, who claimed that he was visited by the two little girls who urged him into death with them? Where do you want us to follow you to? Was that you? No. I'm holding the camera here, my hand was just on this. Is that you? Where are we following you to? So this window here would have been where the bullet came through. And there is a window out there where the shooter was. They believe that Kingsley's bed was positioned just about here when he was assassinated and shot. Can we go in the cell? Yeah, I think so. Oh my gosh. Hello? Oh, that felt like a man. Innocent. <gasps> I, you're innocent. You did... There's a lot to unpack. A lot of people... It's split. People, some people say that this man, if Kingsley, was innocent. Some people believe he was guilty. The little girls that were visiting him died. They drowned. Whether he actually killed them or not is up for debate. No one actually knows who shot this man from the courthouse. A lot of people speculate it was the little girl's father though, but was it? Is there anything else that you can tell us? Are we talking to you Kingsley or the girls? Did you do it Kingsley? With the eeriest of timing, we received our final image through Ghost Tube Seer. To me, this image looks like some kind of lake, pond or riverbank. At the very least, a source of water, which when you reflect on the story of the young girl's drowning is truly chilling. Were we being shown a message? Was Kingsley innocent? Or were the girls trying to communicate otherwise? What does this all mean? You know what though, I'm not going to conclude that it's Kingsley and claim that we've solved some unsolved case because we're, we're in a jail. That could have been any of the prisoners here probably claimed they were innocent, you know what I mean? Because this was a jail, a lot of people were held here while they were waiting sentencing in the court. So not everyone held here was guilty. There were a lot of people here who were innocent. So who knows, it could be anyone. <laughs> Having now finished our initial walkthrough of the jail, we went downstairs to retrieve and review our ghost tube seer session. We were truly shocked by what we saw displayed and thought because of the relevance to Kingsley and the two young girls, we should return to his cell to reach out. We decided to perform an SD session within the cell, which saw me wear noise cancelling headphones while listening to a spirit box and relaying anything I heard come through, while Jared asked questions that I could not hear. Instead of being blindfolded while doing this, which is the typical way to perform an Estes, I instead wore ghost tube blend while watching a particular sitting in Ghost Tube Seer, we call Mind Focus. Essentially here, I was watching repetitive imagery of smoke to induce a trance-like state and act as a sort of digital scrying. In addition to this, we left a still Ghost Tube SLS camera monitoring tank too, as we had also had some interesting moments there too. Is anyone here that wants to communicate? Can you go up to that woman sitting there, try to talk to her? To maybe tell me your name, tell us who you are? I, I feel like I heard some giggles then, like little kids. Male or female? Are you a boy or a girl? Water. Water. Can you tell me about water? Why is that right? It was a man as well, like water. Water. Can you tell me about the water? I just heard a noise in here. About the water. 
got the world. Can you tell me how many? <laughs> Whoa! Somebody just touched me. What? Did you just touch her? Oh, my heart's racing. <laughs> Who just touched her? That actually scared the shit out of me as well. Who's here with us right now? Two. Two of you? Can you tell me your names? Young. Young. Can you tell me what you're doing here? Are you scared? I wasn't until you touched her and she screamed. Can you tell me what two little girls are doing hanging around here? The fog. Which is funny because like that's what I'm looking at. So Amy's using ghost tube lens and she's looking at like digital smoke or fog to help focus her mind. Can you see what she's looking at? Can you tell me what happened to you? If I'm talking to a little girl, can you tell me why you're here? We're here. Where exactly? The face. Can you tell me about the lake? Sit. Sit? You want me to sit? Alright, I'm sitting. My hand. Can you touch my hand? Him. Yeah, my hand. Him. Can you, you touch my hand? Are you talking about Kingsley? What happened to him? Oh, my hand's really cold now, but it might be the sweat. Oh, I've got cold chills as well. Can you make a noise for me in that cell to show me that you're here? Can you come in this cell with us? No. Why? That was weird. Bad luck. Why? Why won't you come in this cell with us? Pain. Does it pain you to, to be here? Why? What happened here? Watching. It's dark. You're watching us? You're watching me? Inwards. I'm hearing noises out here. I'm hearing noises out here. Can you tell me what they are? Can you tell me who's in tank two? Who's in tank two right now? I'm hearing noises down there. He's back. Can you tell me who's in Jared. tank two? Can you tell me who's in tank two? Oh, I feel like someone's walking towards me. Guys, I'm not even in the cell with Amy right now. I'm out here. And now I just, like, I feel cold. Can you go up to that red light on that bed there and make it light up? Touch. Yes, just go up and touch it. It'll go pretty colours and make a really annoying noise. I'm hearing it out here again. Can you make that noise again? You alright? Yeah, I just like, that was really weird. I just felt like someone just came right up here. When you said that, I wasn't even here, I was out there. It just felt like someone was up in my, well it still kind of does actually. What was with the you being touched bit? I felt someone touch me here. Your leg? Yeah. Like a poke? It felt like someone like shoved their finger in here. That kind of sounds dirty but like what I mean is I'm sitting cross-legged and like just in between my legs like here. That's really really weird. After receiving so many incredible responses, we wanted to push our investigation further by heading back to Tank 2, where most of the paranormal activity within the jail, especially the physical kind, is said to occur. Here, we decided to run a ghost tube box session, yet we also left a ghost tube SLS camera rolling within the women's cell area, where many claim a matron to haunt. So Jared, you're going to be our human trigger object. Yeah, I am. Got my sheriff's badge. Oh my god, my... it has a perfect sparkle on it. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's also got handcuffs, fixed handcuffs, and an authentic fake shotgun. So, shotgun. trigger object tonight, baby. 
All right, Spirit, so my name is Jared. This is Amy. I'm the sheriff tonight on duty. I hope you're all behaving, but I'm giving you permission to come out and say hello to us tonight, if you wish. Right there. What? I thought it said right there. I was about to ask what cell would you like us to go into? I don't think they're numbered, but maybe you can direct us. In. In. In there. Marissa Mel. Marissa? I was gonna name Marissa. Now guys, I do just wanna say that we do have a camera set up in this cell because there was a story to do with this cell. This is a cell where people are said to be grabbed. So we did plan on coming in here. Is this the cell that you want us to go into? Who's Marissa? I'm gonna go stand in here. All right, I'm in this cell, the grabby cell. Can you tell me about why they call it that? Shabbat. Can you grab me, please? I'm giving you permission. You can try and grab these handcuffs here. I thought I just heard a voice out here. Like not on Vox? No, not on Vox. I don't want any violence in here tonight, boys. I run a tight ship. We've got some devices along here on the floor. If you go up to them, you can make them light up. That'll be good. It's going to be. It's going oh, to be. It's going to be good. What's it going to be? Poison. 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 You heard that, yeah? Two. Two. There's two of us. There's two of us here, but can we? Can you tell me how many inmates are in here with us right now? Poison, is that a crime? Is that something you did to be put in here? Smaller. Smaller. If you come up close to the sheriff's hand, maybe that allows you to talk to us. And we would- I'm in jail, I thought that said. We, we know you're in jail, because we're, we're standing here as well right now, but can you tell us about why you're here? Well, can you tell me about the person that used to be in this cell? Need to speak clearly. All right, I'm gonna stand with my back to this cell. Just casually leaning my butt. <laughs> can you grab her butt? I'm so scared if something genuinely grabs my ass right now. <laughs> I would probably fall over. All right, my turn. <gasps> oh my god! That sounded like a. Oh. Or maybe they're like, oh, don't swap. All right, my turn now. My bum's in here. Do you want to grab that? Taking advantage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh my God. Were you taking advantage of me? It's not taking advantage though, if you ask you for it. You were asking for it. <laughs> Jokes aside, anyone that is here, would really love to talk to you. And if you are in a particular cell, can you guide me towards one? <laughs> That's a cake. They're, they're children here. Here. Where are you? Listen. Listen. I'm doing my best to listen. My name is Amy and I'm from Australia. Maybe you can share where you're from. Center in you. Beat her. <gasps> Beat her? Is that what you did to get put in here? Or are you talking to me? Well, that gave me shivers. Do you not like women? Linden. <gasps> that was behind that camera, in that corner. In the alien room, maybe even. In the alien room? Yeah. <gasps> Someone in here? 
Who's in here? Should I send the sheriff in? Yeah, it's okay. Did I just say... Did I just say, yeah, get him? Alright, I'm going in. What? Do you want I'm me to film you? Yeah, yeah. let's swap. I'm coming in, I'm going into the alien room. Wish me luck. Oh, he's creepy. Who's in here with me? What do you say? I don't know, but it's so creepy. Can you tell me who's in this room? There is. His neck. His neck. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um I don't know, all I heard was His neck. His neck, and I was like, no, 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 no. What about his neck? I don't think it's uncommon people get choked here. Ugh. After having some interesting responses come through Ghost Tube Vox, we wanted to cover more of the jail, so we split up. I descended into a cell within Tank 1, while Jared sat in the most physically active cell inside Tank 2. During this time, we would call one another on loudspeaker to see if we could capture any EVPs live in the moment. Yet we also wanted to monitor the bridge of size, as many people have seen apparitions in that area. So we rigged a still Ghost Tube SLS camera in that space. But right from the moment we went to set up Jared's cell, Someone wanted to make their presence known. Oh, hmm. <laughs> okay. oh my god, I don't want to do this. No, why are you leaving me up on this floor? You said you wanted to. For sake. Just... <laughs> With things already kicking off, I decided to leave Jared alone in his cell and head downstairs to my own. Okay, I am in a cell by myself now. I'm sorry, but the person you call. <laughs> Oops, I have a missed call from Jared. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hey, sorry, I missed your call. <laughs> so, what is this? Like a real time EVP over the phone, right? Pretty much, yeah. Can we have your name? My name is Amy. Test. Why are you testing? When I talk, I feel like there's a voice that comes through your end. I'm not saying anything. I don't, I don't think it was the echo of my own voice, I don't know. I can't hear you up here, except to the phone. I definitely feel like there was another voice that was coming through your end, Jared. And is this the grab cell as well? Yeah. <laughs> my name is Amy. Is there someone in here with me now? Are you moving? No. There's literally sound coming through your end, Jared. I'm not moving at all. Is there anybody in there still with Amy? Touch. <gasps> oh, fuck. It just said touch. Is that what you, well, you like to do that in that cell, don't you? Can you touch the red light in one of our cells? Randy. Randy, it said Randy. <laughs> is that a name or is that how you're feeling? I'm, I've got like goosebumps all over my body now. Is Randy a person or a feeling? Why do you touch people? This is such a weird experiment. Yeah, it's just like a live EVP. It's coming. <gasps> it's coming. What is? I just had a train go past too. I'm hearing a train. Tagging a train. That is loud. Maybe it was talking about the train. Oh, maybe. What's coming? <gasps> oh, my red pot just went off. <laughs> Why is my cell the- ah! What? My REM pod's going off. Why is my cell the active one? You wanted to go in there. No, I didn't. I didn't say which one I wanted. You said I got so much up there. I got weird feelings. I want to go in there. 
No, I didn't. I said I got my feelings. I don't want to go up here. <laughs> you are in the most active cell of the jail. It said it's coming again. What is coming? Who's up there with that man? Can you make a loud noise for one of us? It's coming. Fuck it. It keeps saying it's coming. Touch. Touch. What? What is coming? <laughs> Who is it? I know, but whatever it is, it wants to touch me and it's feeling randy. Touch. Touch, again. Well, do it then. Randy, are you still here? What was that? What was what? Um, there was something that came through the line then. Still here? Still here? Anyone else got anything to say? <laughs> Fuck. It's touching the red light. I just heard something down here with me. I thought I heard something down the back passageway. I don't know what that was. I just heard something down here though. I don't remember. In it says in danger. Oh, in danger again. Is it me in danger or is it Jared? Touch. <gasps> that has said touch so many times. If you don't get touched, that's pretty weird. <laughs> I don't think I've been touched yet. I haven't felt anything. At this point, Jared decided to bail and returned downstairs to check on me. He did leave the camera monitoring his cell rolling, which documented one final blip on the REM pod. I felt too uncomfortable up there. Like, and when it's said in danger, it's like, is that you? Is it me? I don't know. I feel okay, besides having to bunk with this mother As daylight was fast approaching, our night at the Gila County Jail was coming to an end. But we'd leave with some truly unforgettable moments. From feeling as though the ghosts of this jail communicated through ghost tubes here, potentially showing themselves to us using this new investigative method, to the chilling interactions that we received through Vox, and the especially frightening moments for Jared within the butt grabber's cell. But our paranormal investigations within the USA are just getting started. So make sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications for this channel as next week, we venture into the heart of the old wild west to investigate a former brothel in Tombstone, Arizona, where some particularly physical paranormal activity has been reported. This was another truly active night and you won't want to miss our paranormal investigation of the extremely haunted birdcage theater. Crip Keepers, tonight's been really cool, the Gila County Jail. And I have to tell you, we have so many more videos coming from the US. We have a lot planned and new experiments, new locations, and maybe some old favorites as well that we have already visited and picked up insane amounts of activity in the past. So really looking forward to it. And if you guys are too, make sure you're subscribed and turn on all of your notifications because yeah, trust me, we've got a big year coming up. But for now, I think I need to go and talk things over with Jared. He's a little bit touchy after spending some time alone in the most active haunted cell upstairs. I think he's like genuinely rattled and scared over it. So yeah, that's how you know it's a really good haunted location. <laughs> but I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe because that really helps us out. If you want to do more reading about this place, head to amyscrypt.com. I posted a, a blog art article over there. You can also follow us on social media at Amy's Crypt and I post bonus content for my YouTube members and patrons that are linked below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.